And now, the After Action Review with Rod Rodriguez. And welcome to the After Action Review Podcast. I'm your host, Rod Rodriguez, and we are just days away from Christmas 2017. So in the spirit of the holiday season, I've got a really special treat here for you, an interview with Grunt Style CEO, Dan Alaric. This episode is special for a couple of reasons. Great guest, had a blast doing the interview and all, but what makes this episode really special is you need to recognize how important Grunt Style is to veteran business. To many entrepreneurs, Grunt Style is what inspired them. They saw a veteran-owned business break into the mainstream and said, I can do that too. Grunt Style's success really kick-started the veteran apparel movement that continues to go strong today. So talking to Dan was like getting to talk to the source code behind some of today's most successful veteran businesses. This isn't to say that Grunt Style has passed its heyday, not even close. Grunt Style is killing the veteran apparel game, and now they're looking to conquer other industries as they expand their products, reach, and partnerships. So let's get to it. Grunt Style CEO, Dan Alaric. Uh, my name is Daniel Alaric. I was a uh, drill sergeant in the Army, and from there I went, uh, came out and started a small company called Grunt Style. I was born in Anaheim, California, and then when I was six, uh, my parents didn't really have any work, so they moved back to my dad's hometown, which is right outside Chicago. And from there, he tried to start up a business. We lived there, and I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, you know, playing with cattails and catching um, tadpoles and whatnot um, as a boy. And... And from there, I was went to school, and I was a pretty mediocre at best student. Um, you know, I had a, I think I graduated with a GPA of 2.54. Um, didn't really want to go to college. Um, you know, primarily because I figured, you know, you go to college and you get a job, work for somebody else, and then you die. I didn't think any of that was exciting at all. I wanted to, to do something that was bigger than myself. And the army made a lot of sense, and especially with my grades, it made a lot of sense. But uh, it was this was uh, 2000. You know, I graduated in class of 2000 and um, joined the army as a communication specialist. Uh, you know, trained for nine months, and then um, and then uh, 9/11 happened. I got deployed a couple times, which was fine. You know, and then came home. Then I was a personal trainer for a bit um, for the largest chain gym in the country, and that's where I really learned how to do a lot of sales, salesmanship. You know, I have a passion for fitness, despite what I look like now. Um, <laughs> no, I, but uh, and, and then I went back to the army as an infantry drill sergeant, and uh, did that for about three years, and that was a lot of um, a lot of fun, um, a lot of frustration. But it's uh, long hours, and it really, really kind of combined a lot of the things I was passionate about, which was. Uh, fitness. Um, I love army uh, tactics, and I love um, instilling the ideals of the way the army could be. Uh, and it was my opportunity to share that, and that's you know through discipline, hard training, um, being motivated, etc. And then from there, I was uh, my uh, I had a wife and baby still back in Chicagoland, and she asked me to not stay down there and come back home, and I didn't really have a job to go back home to, you know, a lot, not a whole lot of opportunities for an infantry drill sergeant. And so I, uh, I wanted a way to kind of keep that culture. I love the army and uh, I love the military. I love the pride, the patriotism. And, and I thought I would, if I made that my mission, um, to take or to make every home in America, a patriotic one, that was my, that was my next mission. And that's when I started grunt style. So I put a bunch of t-shirts in the back of my car and drove around the, the country selling it and I just did that for about three years sleeping on my products unbeknownst to most of the customers and I still had my military ID so I'd go to a local base sometimes and just shower at the gym or I'd stay with a friend um, I stayed a lot with uh, my first sergeant a lot down in, jo 